Hey folks, Sivak here. Welcome to Let's Play The Adventures of Base 2. First release, September 14th, 2001. It's a ROM hack that I made. And I haven't played this in quite a long, quite a long time. Um, the hack itself basically features altered levels, uh, altered palettes, uh, a few sprite edits, and of course you play as Base as the character, and your villain in this game is Dr. Light in place of Dr. Wily. And this hack's not really as extensive as some of the more modern Mega Man hacks, like uh, Rockman No Constancy and such. But at the time, you know, it was... I thought it was pretty well received by some people, so... I'm going to be exploring this for the first time in a couple of years. So let's let the intro play out here. And I'm just going to play it on normal. I don't have the patience for difficult at the moment. So let's just start here. I'm going to go with Metal Man. I think Metal Man was probably one of, if not the first level I ended up altering in the game. So, here we go. The editor itself wasn't able to edit things like uh, scrolling and, you know, what enemies you can have in the level, so I had to make do with what I, what the game originally had. So... so this first part's not really too tough. Which take taken the opposite direction. Give me that. Oop. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the editor couldn't do, couldn't edit things like you know enemy stats and such. But whatever. Here we go. One up time. One thing here in this room, uh, it's normally empty in Mega Man 2, but. One of the enemies you can place anywhere are these guys. I don't know why they're always in the graphic memory, but you can always put them anywhere you want. So, here we go. Just wait for this guy to come down here. So, I don't think Metal Man's stage ended up being too difficult compared to some of the other stages. Just going to use the turbo button here to make it through, but I won't use turbo anywhere else, you know. I consider that a form of cheating. And I'm also, I'm doing this with no, no save states. No way. It's my own game. Gotta beat it my own. Dr. Light portrait. I considered putting a Dr. L up there, but I thought, yeah, that would be kind of, it would be more funny just to have Dr. Light as the portrait up there. Plus, that's who you see in the stage select, and it's a shared graphic anyway. So, here we are, Metal Man. Again, it's not really changed all that much. Agree with it? Well, that's my order, not yours. Yeah, you might notice a little uh, tile missing the top left there. Unfortunately, that's how the game draws it, and I couldn't draw that tile up there. If I could, I would, but I couldn't, so. Put a flash man next here. One of the stages I had some fun with the pallets with. You'll see that in a sec here. Yeah, and one thing I added were plenty of pitfalls. Flashman stage never had any pitfalls whatsoever in the original. And I just thought it was so cool that not only could you could I edit the colors, but uh, also the background. So definitely the stage is a lot more colorful. Oh, there we go. Thing about some of the other Mega Man hacks that 
the time where I saw these hacks where people design it in such a way that you couldn't beat all the levels uh, without obtaining items beforehand. Like, I remember this one hack where you would just have this giant wall and then you couldn't get over it unless you had item 3, so your only choice was to commit suicide. And I thought that was just such stupid level design. I mean, I, I made it a point that in my hack that all the levels would at least be beatable. I mean, some levels might be easier with items, but they would all be beatable, beatable without having an item. I think I did quite a couple of sniper drill placements instead of big robots. Thankfully, Flashman is very easy to kill. He's no tougher than he was before. And there we go, nothing too tough. Dr. Wily portrait in here, but it just wouldn't work with the way the uh, attributes are set up in the background. So, I just want the simple Dr. W logo. It works, I guess. 